Hi, I'm Jun Bi from University of Science and Technology of China. Today, I will give a talk to introduce our recent work, Heron. This work is done with researchers from Chinese Academy of Science and Cambridge in Technology. Deep learning accelerators can greatly improve the efficiency of widely used deep learning algorithms. A flexible and portable means for deep learning frameworks to exploit DLAs is to use vendor-provided libraries. However, this library requires large amount of human efforts to develop. Exploration-based compilers treat high-performance library generation as a search space exploration process and require much fewer human efforts. Commonly used exploration-based approaches include AutoTVM, Answer, and AMOS. However, high-performance code generation for DRAs is challenging, since there exists a large number of diverse and complicated architectural constraints. For TensorCore, the program's total shared memory usage should be bounded. For DRBoost, the innermost tile sizes should be equal to 1, 16, and 4. For VTA, there exists a special constraint that the program cannot write the same feature map in one cycle. Thus, some specific length of loops should be equal to 1. There are many three types of architectural constraints, including memory capacity constraints, memory access constraints, and the computation size constraints. These architectural constraints should be carefully satisfied to make the generation process efficient. We first show some related work. AutoTVM search for optimal programs by manual templates. As shown in the figure, the general program structure of a scheduled template is fixed with only parameters to be tuned. AutoTVM manually designs templates for every deep learning operators. These templates have limited search spaces due to the fixed program structure and require a large amount of efforts from domain experts. When performing code generation for DLAs, the performance of resultant programs suffer from the limited search space. We also observe that most programs in the search spaces are invalid. For example, the error rate of a GEMM operator can be as high as 95%, which greatly harms the search efficiency. Answer can generate scheduled templates automatically with predefined schedule generation rules. It can generate multiple high-level program structures, which results in a larger search space than TVM. It also proposes an efficient genetic algorithm to explore the new search space. For DLAs, the generated search space is large but hard to explore. It is hard to find valid programs in the search space, and the genetic algorithm is no longer effective since the mutation operator results in invalid programs so ANSWER does not support high-performance code generation for DLAs. The challenge of high-performance code generation for DLAs are from search space and algorithm. For the search space, it has to be as large as possible to include optimal program. However, the search space has also to be as small as possible to exclude invalid programs. The resultant search space is high quality, but highly irregular. So the first challenge is how do we build such a high-quality but irregular search space automatically? Our approach is to describe the search space as a constraint satisfaction problem and construct the CSP via static analysis. Another challenge is how do we explore the irregular search space efficiently? Commonly used search algorithms include simulated annealing and genetic algorithm. Given the irregular search space, we find that these algorithms cannot outperform the random search algorithm. Thus, we are, they are not suitable for our search space. Our approach is to explore the search space with a novel algorithm called constraint-based genetic algorithm. Next, I'm going to introduce the system overview of Heron. Heron includes two parts. The first part performs static analysis to generate the search space, which is a constraint satisfaction problem. The second part performs exploration in the generated search space with our proposed search algorithm. For the first part, the input is the compute declaration and the output is the generated CSP. The generation process consists of following steps. 
Step one: We perform schedule template generation under the guidance of schedule generation rules. Step two: We perform constraint generation for the schedule primitives in the generated schedule template under the guidance of constraint generation rule. Finally, we construct the CSP as an ensemble of the generated constraints. The schedule generation process is similar to answer, so we introduce it briefly. The schedule template is generated by applying generation rules in reverse topological order of the computation graph. Our generation rules include rules for general platforms and rules for deep learning accelerators. This figure shows an example of the generated schedule template for a GMM operator on TensorCore. For constraint generation, we apply rules on the generated schedule template to generate constraints. There is a gap between architectural constraints and schedule parameters. For example, the architectural constraints on memory capacity is not directly related to the tile sizes or the compute locations, so we have to generate additional constraints to describe such relationships. The main insight is that most architectural constraints can be expressed by functions of loop lengths, and the loop lengths can be directly related to the schedule parameters. So we design six constraint generation rules to describe the relationships between architectural constraints, loop lengths, and schedule parameters. This figure shows an example of the constraint generation. The generated constraints form a constraint satisfaction problem, which is our search space. Here is one of our proposed constraint generation rule. When we fuse a computation stage called stage two into stage one, the loop length of stage two is determined by the compute location. This rule describes that the length of loop x two can have two candidate values, and is finally determined by a schedule parameter called location. The space exploration part mainly consists of three steps. Step one: We sample the initial population by solving the generated CSP randomly with a solver. Step two: We explore for promising program candidates with CGA using a cost model to predict the score. Step three: We measure the programs and update the cost model. We repeat step two to step three until the time budget exhausted and output the best program. Here is our proposed constraint-based genetic algorithm. It is designed as a general search algorithm for various DRAs. For a constraint optimization problem shown in the figure, we first extract its key variables according to the feature importance. The key variables are x and y for this problem since they are mostly related to the objective function. For two valid solutions, C1 and C2, we perform crossover by adding new constraints to the original CSP. Then, to increase exploration, we perform mutation by removing one newly added constraint from the CSP. The result of crossover and mutation is a new CSP. We then solve the new CSP randomly to obtain valid solutions. Next, I'm going to talk about the evaluation results. First, we compare Heron with baselines on nine typical deep learning operators. The experiments are conducted on three deep learning accelerator platforms, including TensorCore, DRBoost, and VTA. We compare with SOTA automatic generation approaches, including AutoTVM, Answer, and AMOS. We also compare with vendor-provided libraries, including PyTorch kernels with QDN as the backend and 1DNN. The results show that Heron outperforms automatic generation approaches by 2.7 times and uh, vendor provided libraries by 2 times. Then we virilize the search spaces of AutoTVM and Heron for 1,000 different programs. The x axis represents the allocated shared memory size of the output tensor, the y axis represents the allocated shared memory size of an input tensor. Each tau represents a subspace of the whole search space, and the color represents the best sampled program performance in the subspace. The lighter the color is, the higher the performance is. We find that Heron's search space is more irregular than AutoTVM, and that our search space contains more high-performance programs. 
To verify the effectiveness of our proposed search algorithm, we compared CGA with commonly used optimization approaches and other constraint optimization algorithms. We first compare with SA and GA that are commonly used in AutoTVM and ANSWER. The results show that CGA converges faster and better. We then compare with other constraint optimization approaches under different problem sizes. The results show that CGA outperforms other approaches since it guarantees the validity of solutions and retains the good genes. We also check the compilation cost of Heron. We experiment on five different operators. For each operator, we test three different problem sizes. For each problem size, we set the maximum trials to 2000 for all the baselines. Heron's compilation time is 87% of AutoTVM and 82% of AMOS on average. The execution time of the proposed CGA accounts for 23% on average. So Heron does not introduce additional compilation costs for solving constraint satisfaction problems. In summary, we introduced novel techniques to improve the search in two aspects, including high-quality search space generation and efficient space e exploration. Thanks for listening.